what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? ESPN commentator Jameel Hill is under fire for comparing police officers to the slave patrols who enforced discipline on pre-Civil War plantations. Jameel Hill, who co-hosts the 6 p.m. Hour of Sports Center, made the comments Friday on Twitter echoing comments made by former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick last month. Now, all of this transpired because Jamil took exception to the Ravens, who was looking for a passer after quarterback Joe Flacco suffered a back injury, signed a complete unknown, David Olsen, who completed just three passes in college and most recently played arena football in Kansas City, instead of signing Colin Kaepernick, who is a much superior quarterback. The running lie here is that Colin Kaepernick hasn't been signed because of his lack of production. Here's a guy who threw 16 touchdowns versus four interceptions this past season. By Pee Wee standards, that's good. By NFL standards, that's damn good. But Colin Kaepernick doesn't have a job. Now, here's an exchange between Jameel Hill and a guy by the name of Nathaniel Johnson on Twitter. Jamil, O, and I C Y M I, acronym for in case you missed it. The Ravens signed a dude who quit football to be a realtor and played in two games in college over a Super Bowl quarterback. Referring to Kaepernick's starting quarterback role in 2013 season, in which uh, the 49ers lost the Super Bowl to the Seattle Seahawks. Nathaniel Johnson said, I feel like it's been forgotten that he basically called cops slave patrol a month ago. I mean, that's pretty inflammatory. Offering a plausible reason, maybe a possible reason, why Kaepernick hasn't been signed. Jamil shot back, inflammatory, but historically accurate. In June... Kaepernick responded to the jury's verdict of acquitting the police officers who killed Philando Castile, the police officer who killed Philando Castile. And he posted a picture of a similarly shaped badge that read runaway slave patrol and police officer. Now, slave patrols were groups of white men who used force and violence to discipline the slave population uh, pre-Civil War. So this is all about people being uncomfortable with the truth. That's what it basically boils down to, is people being uncomfortable with the truth. I always say that if you don't like the truth, don't live it. If you don't like your truth, don't live it. Do something different. If you're going to be upset about your truth, if you're going to be pissed off when somebody call your truth out, don't live it. You shouldn't have even lived it in the first place. Because you preach your eulogy. I can't stand it when I go to funerals and people get up there and start lying about how great somebody was. And that person was a, a bum or a rat or a liar or a thief or whatever. And they just stand up there and try to make it sound all good. You know the lies coming when you first open the program up and it says he joined such and such church at an early age and became a devout this, that, that. Man, hell out of here. The NFL will hire dudes who beat up on women. 
but they won't hire a man who will take a stance against police brutality, against Americans' rights being violated. They won't take a stand for him. They won't hire him because of his position, his righteous position against police brutality. Amazing. I've always considered Jamil Hill to be a very smart woman. She's very knowledgeable about sports. One of the most knowledgeable persons out there, irregardless of gender. She's just, she bad. But I got thrown off about her comments on LeVar Ball. You, know, you can have a disagreement about somebody's attitude. I get that, but I thought that when she started attacking his sneakers and his, his, his clothing line, talking about the t-shirts cost $60 and the, the shoes are ridiculously overpriced at $495, I thought she went too far because nobody says anything when Nike put their tag out there. Nobody says anything when Under Armour puts their tag on stuff. Nobody says anything about these high-priced-ass Louis Vuitton purses, Blueberry, Gucci, these damn $1,700 red bottoms. Y'all know that shit ain't worth that amount of money. But you buy it anyway because of the status symbol. So if the man want to sell his shoes for $4.95, let the man sell his shoes for $4.95. Hell, if I thought I could sell a pair of shoes for $495,000, I'll put the damn price tag on that and sell them for $495,000. That's the way free enterprise works. That's the way business works. You price your product and your services based on what you think the market would bear. That's the way it goes. So I thought she went too far with that. Other than that, man, I'm on some McDonald's shit. I'm loving them comments she made about the slave patrol because she 100% right. She 100% right. See, the truth hurts so much. And why is it that Americans are so damn sensitive these days? You can't say nothing without somebody crying and being butt hurt. Like they get, they and they trip on the truth. I can see if somebody was lying. If somebody was just getting on TV or something and just telling a bold faced lie or just trying to ridicule somebody, trying to defame somebody's character and all. I get that if they're lying. But if you're telling the truth, man, I ain't got no problem with the truth. If you say that's what it is, I have no problem with the truth. But Americans who pride themselves on being so strong and so progressive and advanced, a bunch of snowflakes. The legacy of slavery and racism did not end after the Civil War. In fact, it can be argued that the extreme violence against people of color became even worse with the rise of vigilante groups like the KKK who resisted Reconstruction. Similarly, you have today the alt-right and white nationalist groups out there who are causing chaos and disruption in America. So let's not get it twisted and act like we're in some type of post-racial society. It's bad out there. It's real bad. And the president that we have today don't make it any better. You look at 1817, and now let's move up to 2017. 1817, you have slave patrols. Come here, boy. What you doing? Uh, let me see your papers. What you doing out here? 
2017. Stop and frisk. Hey, boy, what you doing out here? Let me see your ID. Shut up, I don't want to hear no back talk. Let me see your ID before I beat the hell out you or kill you. And if I do, ain't nobody going to do nothing about it. That's pretty close, huh? No more talk. Wonder what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.